Returning back to the idea of becoming an entrepreneur, how many of you are entrepreneurs? So a handful of them. And how many of you want to be entrepreneurs? <laughs> Which has a, a, a becoming an entrepreneur you know, is something that nobody will encourage you to do. At least of all your parents. No father will ever say, you know, beta entrepreneur bano. <laughs> you know, the, the emphasis is you know, you know, be responsible, settle down, have a good job, you know, work for you know work for nowadays is doodle, it used to be IBM, it used to be a, some you know, reputable name, right? And uh, the entrepreneur you know, is seen as a person you know, who is sort of wild and is you know, you know, not secure, you know, not responsible. You know, so uh, that was it, you know, by and large, you know, the thing in India. Even your spouse will not interest you. you know, because it, you know, it, it puts everybody through the hardship. It's a very hard, you know, it's a two, three, four years of hardship. You know. And also, it's not only financial hardship, it's other, other you know, because now you're married to your, you know, project, your job, you know, you work, and you work in your, you know, 16, 17 hours a day, and, you know, the family feels neglected, right? So, so there's, there's all these problems, and, and most people become very comfortable in, in the job, you know, I, I for sure was for 19 years doing very, very well, and you become, you know, you live in the moment, you know, there's a project, there's a deadline, you know, you know, you know there's, you know, something that needs to be done, right? And you're always busy. You know, you don't have time to, you know, sit back and, you know, you know, you know what's next in my life. You know, it's always, you know, I don't meet this deadline, I don't, you know, you know you make sure, you know, that, that customer's problem is solved. So it, it forces you, you know, your, your normal routine forces you to become, you know, live in the, you know, in the moment. So, uh, you know, to become an entrepreneur, you have to step out of your comfort zone. And there's nothing in the environment that tells you to, you know, step out of comfort zone. There's nobody encouraging you to do it. So it has to start from inside. And I tell people, you know, find your David Jackson. You know, somebody who destabilizes you as a person. <laughs> because that's what it takes. That's what it takes. You know, you have to walk away from a you know, very nice setup for a very uncertain, unknown destination. And it's not something which is easily done, right? And uh, so, you, you know, so you have to find, and, and by the way, you know, in many, many cases, you know, getting laid off is a very good thing. <laughs> Because that destabilizes you as a person. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, then you say, oh, yeah, what's next in my life? And that's when you, you know, you're able you know, to think through. So then laid off is a very good way to become an entrepreneur. And I know many entrepreneurs who became you know, entrepreneurs because they were <laughs> laid off. <laughs> and so you have to find a way to step out of your comfort zone. You have to force yourself out of your comfort zone. And now the math of it. Only one to two percent of the population will become successful entrepreneurs. So odds are half a year ratio, 98 to 99 percent ratio. If you are an engineer, you know, you know those odds are very bad odds. <laughs> yeah, you would not place a bet if those were the odds, right? You were given. <laughs> and uh, so, so that's the other problem. So they, they, this immediate hurdle, you know, that uh, you have to overcome. You know, and uh, so, but but the reality is the if you take that first step and say I want to become an entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, you leave your job, you know, and you know, and and you know, sustain yourself for at least six months, maybe a year. Your arts improve tenfold overnight. Because ninety percent of people don't even try. So you have now selected to be part of that ten percent of the people who will try, and the one to two percent of the your ten percent is ten to twenty percent instead of one to two you know, two percent or hundred percent. So the, so that first step becomes the the most urgent step. Your arts improve, you know, not 10 to 20 percent arts are not that bad art. You know, especially you know, the upside is unlimited. Uh, you know, you could be set for life, right? You know, if you succeed, downside is, you know, maybe you lost a year or 18 months of your you know, life, which is not a big, you know, you know, you, know, you can always go back and get a job at Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> or Intel, or, you know, you know, or IBM, you know, or it's HP. <laughs> Especially if you are Indian, right? You know, you, you'll have job, you know, no job, not job, not a job in the engineering department, right? So, so the arts are you know, you know, not that bad. You know, when you look at the you know, the the upside, you know, versus you know, what you're betting, but you have to take that first step yourself. And of course, you know, if you you know, go out and you know, 
fail once, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's not a problem because you know, failing you know, is part of, uh, built into the system, it's part of the nature here. And you, know, you should do everything right and still fail. A you know, market doesn't materialize or a competition emerges that you didn't see. But two or three times you can try. You know, so now if you, you, you know, if you do your math, you know, is it 20% odd? You know, within three times, you know, it's 60% odd, odd of, right? You know, out of 100. Even though each pad is separate, but you know, but roll up dice, you know, eventually you will give you that thing. If you fail four or five times, then you should wonder. You know, that, you know, you know, maybe it's not for me. But uh, you know, <laughs> most of the entrepreneurs you know, succeed on second try, you know, rather than first try. You know, your first try is sort of learning, you know, uh, learning language, learning the mannerism. But uh, many of us do succeed on the first try, you know, people like me. And first, first uh, time entrepreneur, you know, arts are, I would say, even arts. I don't know who is going to succeed. I, I'm sure there's an entrepreneurial gene there, but it's randomly distributed, and you don't get it from your parents. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you, 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 nobody, uh, it's there in people, and the, father, the fact your father was not an entrepreneur doesn't mean anything. Most of the entrepreneurs in the valley here, myself, uh, Vinod Prosla, uh, uh, Sabir Bhatia, uh, of them, uh, the parents were in the army. I mean, I was surprised when I decided to do some of you know, like 55, 60 percent of the people who are entrepreneurs, Indian entrepreneurs in the valley, have the army, you know, you know, you know background, you know. And, you know, it was a pretty large number. And then the other 30 to 40 percent are civil servants. You know, the people who are entrepreneurial families in India, you know, they don't come to the U.S. You know, to do what we are doing. <laughs> it's only the you know, middle class people, you know, uh, they don't bat and pick up part of their families, you know, businesses in India by and large, right? So, so the, you know, here the, it's a middle class family, and uh, you know, maybe army, you know, you know, there was an army discipline or you know, your father driving you, and same is true in civil service. So, so the fact that you don't have your entrepreneurs in, in your family background doesn't mean anything. You know, you know, and nobody's going to tell you to become an entrepreneur, you have to give yourself a chance, and that's the point I made. You have to give yourself a chance. You know, you have to find if you have that entrepreneurial gene or not. You know, nobody else is going to you know, do it for you. And uh, you know, uh, once you've done it, you, know, uh, you will never do better work for anybody else. Because it yeah, becomes, uh, you know, it becomes very, very hard to work for somebody else once you have become an entrepreneur yourself. You know. and maybe I should leave a uh, stop at there and then you know, have a Q and A. That's the best thing to do because uh, I can tell you stories after stories after stories, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, best thing is to uh, interact. I have a question. Uh, about, okay, you just talked about layoffs and all, so I'd like to ask you something about uh, the high-level layoffs. You know.